Okay guys, so I have been on YouTube for a whole year now. I originally started doing videos in February of 2018, and it's kind of past that now, so I'm going to do a video that I have done before, my books, mugs, and pugs video, where I showed you my coffee cup collection, I showed you my dog, and I told you what books I put with the coffee cups. Well, my mug collection has grown, and I have new pug merchandise. So I'm going to be redoing the video for you guys, and hopefully it's going to be better than it was. First, I have the puggy stuff. I love them. I got this one for Valentine's Day from my mom. I got this one from a friend of mine. And now for the pug mug. Some of you who have been on my channel well have already seen this, and you love to mention it in the comics when you see it. Some of you, however, I have not shown in a while, so probably don't know it, but this is my pug mug. And the pug mug, I'm gonna put with Pig the Pug book. This book is a little kid's book that I got from Barnes & Noble, and yes, I know I hate Barnes & Noble, but I had a gift card, so I decided to use the gift card. So, this book I put with the pug. Next, I have Bloom, Grow, and Shine, a little pink coffee cup with flowers on it, and I'm still going to put that with the same one as last time. To Catch a Leaf, this is one of the books by Kate Collins in the Flower Shop Mystery series, which is really good, was very easy to get into for me. I was at a bookstore, and there were four of the books, which I own, um, on the shelf, and I decided to read the first chapter, like, see if it was good if I wanted to get it, because it was really cheap. And... I could not stop reading it and my parents had to come get me. So I bought the series and it's so good, ties you in. I've actually reread some of the books a couple times, still ties me in every time. And I will still always probably put that with this coffee mug. This one was trickier, so Magic Kingdom for Sale by Terry Brooks is the first in the series. And for me it fit more with this coffee cup because this is the book that you would sit down at like a cafe and drink coffee and a Tai Yuen kind of thing. It's an adult fantasy, and for me, these two kind of went together, but it was really hard to pick a book with this coffee mug. So, yeah. Next, I have Amour and Love. Amour means love in French. Um, on this pretty coffee mug, and for me, I had to pick Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. It just went really good together. However, the cover is absolutely horrendous. So I'm talking about the inside of the book fits the coffee mug, not the book cover. So hopefully soon I will get the good cover change of this book. For now though, I have the really ugly cover. Hershey's Chocolate goes with Bliss by Catherine Littlewood. So this is a short middle grade trilogy series. Um, the first book is Bliss. It's the Bliss trilogy. Um, it's a family of bakers happen to bake with magic. So when the parents go away for a little trip, the kids are left alone with a magic cookbook and it's basically a recipe for disaster. The Watcher of the Night Sky by Rachel Pudsley goes with this coffee mug quite a bit better. I originally had picked a different book to go with this one because it made me think of the ocean, but there's gold specks and it made me think of the sky too. And yeah, if it Penguin, The Death Cure by James Dashner. Doesn't it just look so cozy? So for the next one, I also had two books. This one actually was my favorite for a while. It says Dream, and then it has Tinkerbell on the back. So with this one, I have two Peter Pan retellings that go pretty good with it, and it's hard to pick, so I'm going to show you both. I have Neverland, the first, the second book in the Realm series by Emery R. Fry, and then I have Everland by Wendy Spinell. This is the first book in the series, and in this one, the second book is an Alice in Wonderland retelling, but it still has the characters from this book. And book three, I believe, is The Wizard of Oz. 
Okay, never mind. This mug might be winning. I love retelling, so it fits. Wonderland by Emery R. Fry. This is the first book in the Realm series, and I have a book review that I did for it, and I'll have that linked below so you can go find out what it's about. Happiness is a cup of coffee and a really good book. This is in the newest coffee cup I have. And with me, I was thinking more of a writing book, like a really good book. It just made me think more of a book to do with writing. So, Manuscript Makeover is by Elizabeth Lyon, Lyon is my favorite so far of a book with writing tips and advice. When so this one is the one I picked for this, even though the colors don't match. So these are the books I picked to go with my mug collection, and I have read almost all of them. So I feel very happy about that. Thank you guys for watching. I will have my original Pugs, Mugs, and Books video linked down below. Um, even though it is very embarrassing because it was one of my first videos, so... Ugh. But thank you guys for watching. Um, how do you like my mug collection? Have a good one, you guys. Click like if you like the video. Thank you. Bye.